Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are going to be taking a look at the screen time feature brought to us in iOS 12. So let's check out these four options and then also some more data that we can get by heading over to this menu here. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by TunnelBear, the VPN service that makes it easy for you to enjoy a private and fast internet browsing experience. Click the link below to get started today. So first thing is first, when you enter into the screen time menu, you will see four options here and then also some data on the top. So the data on the top will basically give you a rundown of your usage of your phone. So for two hours, almost three hours now, I've been in productivity, Safari for two hours and 31 minutes and so on and so forth. So obviously this gives a pretty good representation of what we've been doing today on the iPhone. Now, there are several things down below that I want to get to before going over all of that data. So let's move on down to the downtime menu here. So schedule time away from the screen. So basically, if I activate downtime, let's so go ahead and set it for 7.11 because that is the next minute that we will experience here. If we set it at 7.11 to 7 a.m. tomorrow, and then we go about using our phone, basically it will alert us that we are supposed to be on downtime. So if you guys have kids or anything like that, you might want to install this onto or enable this onto your kid's phone to make sure that they take the proper amount of downtime and have have some, have some time away from their phone. So let's go ahead and just browse the internet here and it should be turning to 7-Eleven pretty soon. So the clock just turned to 7-Eleven. You can see it up there at the top and there we go. Our time limit has been reached on this website and basically for the entire phone. So obviously our time limit is up. We wanna stay away from our phone at this time. Any app that we go to, if we go to the app store here, um, let's go ahead and try to do something on the App Store. Um, our time limit has been reached. So eventually it will show up. It took a little while there, but it showed up. We, we are, have reached our time limit and we should go away from our phone. Now, if you want to ignore the limit, you can have it remind you in 15 minutes. Maybe you're working on something that you really need to get done and you just need 15 more minutes. So maybe you can select that option or you can ignore the limit for today completely. So that is just a brief overview of the downtime. I think it's a nice feature just to get your um, mind and eyes away from your phone or your iDevice just for a few hours throughout the day. Now, next is app limits, and we can set a limit of time per, um, per app or per um, grouped apps. So basically, social networking apps, we can say we, we only want to have a certain amount of time on social networking apps per day. Now, keep in mind that I have been using the the phone today. So obviously if I set it to one minute, it will be over that time because I've already been using social networking apps for longer than a minute today. So um, we'll set that to one minute and then we'll go ahead and take a look at all of the apps that have the timer set on them. So obviously I've reached the limit on Messenger, Instagram, and um, let's go and check for some other networking apps as well. Twitter, that is, that is gone. So that obviously tells us that we uh, have reached our limit here. And if we try and go to the app, we have reached our limit on Instagram because that is a social networking app. Now the ignore limit works just like the, um, the previous feature we looked at. So you can uh, ignore it for just a little while if you absolutely need to access an app. So I'm going to take this limit off so we can go ahead and um, access some other features. Now, always allowed, we can choose apps that we always want allowed at all times. So if I absolutely need Amazon, I'll put that on so that it doesn't get blocked. Now, messages, FaceTime, and phone, I think these should always be allowed. Phone, they will never allow you to disable specifically because obviously if you have um, an emergency, you will need to use your phone no matter what. So they are never going to allow you to delete that from the always allow screen. So um, content and privacy restrictions. Now this is really just um, for 
like mostly kids because of the um, content, everything like that. This has been in the restrictions menu for quite a long time. So um, just keep that in mind, block inappropriate content. That's pretty much um, self-explanatory. So now let's go up and see exactly what this menu, all the data that it gives us. So obviously we can't look over the last seven days. We're specifically looking at today. And it looks like our use time today has been six hours and 58 minutes. So we have spent a lot of time on the phone and that's, that's obviously because of the release of iOS 12. Now our longest session here was 59 minutes and I believe that was when I was filming um, several videos for, for you guys today. And then we can go to most used and see exactly what we've been using the most today. So productivity, safari, entertainment, social networking, it shows us all the times that we have. And then as well, um, you know, how long we've been using it compared to other apps. Now pickups, I think this is a really cool, um, really cool idea. We have 10 pickups per hour, which is obviously a lot. And you know, guys, I've been, I've been doing videos for you guys today. So obviously that is way more than normal, but we have 178 total pickups just today. So if you are really active on your phone, you really want to manage that because obviously we want to keep our eyes away from the phone sometimes because you know, picking up the phone so many times per day and getting on your device, obviously that's going to waste battery life, but you know, we can, we can pay attention to the world, maybe pay attention to others around us. So that's really cool to kind of get an idea of how many times you've picked up the phone. And then you can also see the most pickups like 22 between five and six. So obviously I was very active then. Now notifications, we can get an exact idea of how many notifications we're getting for each specific app. So Outlook, Messages, Messenger um, are obviously our most used, and then we can see all of the ones below that. So that's really cool. I think um, getting getting an idea of how many notifications you're getting per app is, is always nice. You can kind of disable these if you don't want to get notifications for, like let's say the Nest app, um, I wanna get rid of notifications for that. So um, we can go adjust that in the notification center. So this is a really cool app mainly for parents, I, I think that this would be a really good um, app to use for your kids. You can set up uh, family time or screen time for family um, right here by clicking, tapping on that. But I think for all of us adults, this is also a really good feature to use for ourselves. We really need some downtime from the phone and we really need to limit ourselves from apps that could be causing us to waste time throughout the day. Now, screen time has this feature that basically allows us to see all of the time that we've been on our phone. And I'd like to kind of go into another feature here, uh, just very briefly, the battery menu. I don't think this deserves a separate video, but I think that it does deserve some time on this one, specifically because we are seeing graphs, just like I requested. I was like, I want graphs in the battery menu. And here we're seeing them, our battery level, and we're seeing our usage time as well. So we're getting a lot more data here and a lot more um, in-depth look at what is kind of ruining our battery life or what is taking up so much battery. So go ahead and check this out if you're running iOS 12. I think this is really cool. Apple has definitely given us a lot more data with these two, these two menus here, and I really do appreciate that. So guys, that is a short overview of the Screen Time app and the Battery app, uh, specifically looking at the graphs and then all the features with Screen Time. So guys, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for some more iOS 12 content, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.